So consider these K maps. These in this first K map. So what are the implicants, uh, prime implicants we can have? This is there. This is there. Again, this can be there. This can be there. Again, this can be there. This can be there as well as this and this as well as this and this. Right. This one, this one, this one, as well as this can be there, this can be there, this can be there. If you take a third one, then this one, this one, this one, this, 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 as well as this can be there and this can be there. Okay. So if you check all these three K maps, you can see there are no essential prime implicates. So there can be K maps where you cannot find any essential prime implicate because every prime implicate is covered by at least two or three uh, different uh, prime implicates, right? So uh, these kind of uh, K maps are also called as cyclic K map. They are also called as cyclic K map. They are also called as cyclic K map. So for this, it, it, it is not necessary. It uh, it does not mean having not having essential prime implicant does not mean that you cannot find a solution to this. But uh, it means that you can have more than one solutions. For example, if you take the first one, we try to find a solution for this first first one, and we can have more than one solutions. Okay. So let us do one thing. Let us try to find more than one solutions. All the solutions which we can have. Okay. So this is the prime implicant chart. So we'll be maybe making two prime implicate chart for this, for this, uh, this one, and we'll make making one more prime implicate chart for this one. We can have numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Again, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, then assume we name these subcubes instead of uh, writing the exact values, we can name them that will save our time, right? So, for example, uh, let us call this subcube as small a, let us call this subcube as small b, this subcube as small c, this one is small d this one is small e this one is small f this one is small g and this one is small h right so we have these subjects which are a b c d e f g h again a d c d e f g and h okay so this will save our time like this. See, uh, you don't need to make two uh, implicant charts to get the solution, but I'm making them just so that you can understand what is going on here. Okay. Fine. So let us see. A is covering zero and four. A is covering zero and four. Zero and four. And uh, B is covering four and five. B is covering four and five. Four and five. And C is covering uh, five and thirteen. C is covering five and thirteen. Five and 13 and D is covering 13 and 15 D is covering 13 and 15 D is covering 13 and 15 E is covering 15 and 11 11 and 15 E is covering 11 and 15 11 and 15 E is covering 11 and 15 and then F is covering 2 and 10 F is covering 2 and 10 again F is covering 2 and 10 and then G is covering uh, 
f f is covering sorry f f is covering 10 and 11 not 2 and 10 f is covering 10 and 11 f is covering 10 and 11 f is covering 10 and 11 and then g is covering 2 and 10 g is covering 2 and 10 and then h is covering 0 and 2 h is covering 0 and 2 g is covering 2 and 10 h is covering 0 and 2 right so you can clearly see every term is covered by at least 2 for example this 0 is covered by at least 2 2 is covered by at least 2 4 is covered by 2 5 is covered by 2 10 is covered by 2 11 is covered by 2 13 is covered by 2 and 15 is covered by 2 therefore you can see there are no essential prime implicates but still we can find a solution right so let us do one thing first of all let us have uh, let us in the first case let us assume let us assume that uh, a is in the solution so in the first case let us assume a is in the solution if a is in the solution then a will be covering 0 as well as a will be covering 4 so we no one else need to cover 0 and 4 right so if a is there then we don't will not be having b because uh, we don't have any much benefit of b because b is only covering now covering one term but c is covering two terms so we want uh, we want uh, the prime implicates which are covering the maximum term so b is only covering one term but c is covering two terms so we'll be <coughs> taking c so we'll be taking a plus c so c will be covering 5 as well as c will be covering 13 so no one else need to cover 5 and 13 then we will not be covering taking d because d is only covering one term but e we will be taking because e will be covering 11 as well as 15 e will be covering 11 as well as 15 so e will be there in the solution and then we can take we cannot take we will not take f because f is covering only one term but we will take g because g is covering 2 as well as 10 so g is covering 2 as well as 10 so every term is covered so one solution to this k map will be a plus c plus e plus g in the same way if instead of taking a we take b as a first equation if you take b if you take b then b will be covering 4 as well as b will be covering 5 then we will not be taking c because c is only covering one term then we will be taking d because d is covering two terms one is 13 and 15 so b plus d can be a solution and then we will not be taking e because e is only covering one term we will be taking f because f is covering 10 as well as 11 so plus f will be then the solution and then we will not be taking g we will be taking h so plus h be there in the solution because h is covering 0 as well as 2 so we are covering uh, all the terms so uh, none of these are essential prime implicates but still they are, they are prime implicate and they are in the solution therefore this is a correct solution to this problem okay we can have these two equations both of them are minimized so how many literals can be there so because it's a four variable k map and every subcube is of side 2 so every subcube is going to represent three literals so this will be representing three literals three literal three literal so minimum term even if you take this one or even if you take that one so minimum the equation which is representing the minimum solution will be having approximately 12 literals and th uh, four min terms and four min terms and every min term is having three literals right so this is having 12 literals and four min terms 12 literals and four min terms okay so i, I hope uh, you know what is a, uh, now you know what is essential prime implicant what is a prime implicant and uh, do we need to cover a prime implicant in a k map or not okay so after this let us try to solve some previous r questions which are which is asking gate and then we'll be uh, covering uh, more uh, concepts related to this